One of the more powerful aspects of Zscale and multi-mode CASB is the ability to scan data at rest and prevent risky exposure. Now, cloud apps are great for storing your data, but one of the challenges is that users can sometimes share sensitive data in risky ways. What Zscaler can help you do is to scan your data at rest, and by using a DLP policy, we can identify where sensitive data is and give you policy control over how that data is shared. Additionally, we can look for the introduction of malware into your cloud platforms, and if this malware is found, we give you policy control to either remove that malware or quarantine it. Let's see what this looks like in the user interface. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to onboard a SaaS tenant. So if you go to administration, SaaS application tenants, here's where you can add any of the cloud platforms that we support. Adding them is very easy. You can just step through this process, add your authorization details, and in a few minutes, you'll be up and running. The next thing is to create a policy. So if I go to policy, SaaS security API control, here's where I have control to do that. Now, in this case, I'm going to create a DLP policy to scan OneDrive for PCI data. This is the data I'm most concerned with leaving my organization. So after I give it a name, I'm going to go ahead and select the tenant I want to scan, in this case, my corporate OneDrive. Now, Zscaler gives you a lot of granular uh, control over how you want to apply this policy. So for example, I could say I want to apply this to just the finance department. But in this case, I'm concerned with anyone in the organization sending PCI data, so I'm going to leave it any across the board. Next thing is to find your DLP dictionary. Now, Zscaler gives you a ton of predefined dictionaries, which I'm going to use here, uh, but you can also add your own custom dictionary as well. Next is to apply the scope, right? So if I go to collaboration scope, I am going to select if there's any external people who've been invited to PCI data, or any external link that is being attached to PCI data, that's what I'm most concerned with. So I'm gonna add that as my scope. And the lastly, of course, is the action I wanna take. So I can either report the incident, I can remove the sharing, but in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the external invite and the external link to any PCI data that's found in OneDrive. I'm gonna go select that. Lastly, you can define the severity for the incident when it gets triggered, and you click save and you're good to go. That's it, you're all set. Now, the last thing you may wanna do is to kind of watch this policy and see how it's performing. So you can go to analytics and SAS asset summary report. And here's you get to get an overview of all the activity that's getting found inside of your SAS platforms as it gets scanned. So I can expand the scope here in the last 30 days. And you can see that I've got some activity I may wanna investigate. So if I go to my OneDrive tenant, I can see that I do have DLP activity. I click in on this. And here's where I get full log details that helps me understand what's happening inside of my tenant. I understand what DLP dictionaries are getting triggered, what policies may need to be optimized. Uh, and I can even send this information to an external SIM for further investigation.